Hades is a video game that I'm playing. Um, and so I was just talking to chat um, before we started about the fact that I'm on ADHD meds and they're making a big difference in how I'm feeling and how productive I'm being with like my creative stuff. Like so much writing and art and music is happening and like getting finished. Um, oh, my camera is okay. Ah, there we go. Um, but, uh, but I also think that is helping me um, focus and better process what's happening in the game and not be as overwhelmed by it. Um, which is not a thing that I expected to have happen, but I feel like that's actually true, which is really interesting to be like, oh, maybe like part of being like bad at video games was something about my brain being like overwhelmed by the information that it was receiving. And now that it is better able to process like what it's receiving, I'm better able to play the game which is wild it's wild okay so just a refresher last time was very exciting because we met grandma which I've been looking forward to like this whole time um, <clears throat> I was I was very proud of myself for for piecing together what was going on there you should all be proud of me too <laughs> So, um, and then we did one big hardcore run using the spear up to Hades. I got him to like a third of his health or something like that. I thought I, I feel like I could have gotten it. I just, I, I don't know that I got sloppy, but I was very close. Um, yes. And then and <clears throat> there was delicious dramatic irony in the fact that we know that that's his grandma. But he doesn't know that that's his grandma. Unless this game is changing up mythology and it turns out that Persephone's not actually... Dem D it's not Demeter. Oh, I'm going to get it one of these days. Demeter? Demeter? Dem 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 <sighs> grandma. <clears throat> if a... Uh, if it turns out she's not actually Persephone's mom, or if it turns out Persephone's not actually Zagreus's mom, and they're going to be like, ha, I got you, um, then we'll revisit this. But in the meantime, I will be operating under the assumption that Demeter is his grandma. Okay. Well, I appreciate that, Noel girl, but Demeter is how I always said it, and I'm going to have to train myself. But I trained myself to say the name Papyrus properly, and anybody who watched me play Undertale, I did not know how to say that word at the start of that game, and that was a little bit, uh, a little bit, uh, embarrassing, shall we say. Um, but yeah, so I, I think I did pretty well with that run. In fact, I felt like that run was super, super overpowered. Um, where I was like, I am like cheating. This is too easy. <laughs> These bad guys are going down too fast. And then I was told that I didn't have an overpowered build. Um, so I think what's happened here is that I was playing this game basically with a weighted training vest on because I had half the health I was expected to start with. And as a consequence, I chose to get health instead of getting boons. So not only did I have less health than the game expected me to have, I also had fewer boons than the game expected me to have. So it turns out that when you have enough health and you have enough boons, the game is easier. So that's interesting. Now, granted, some of it was also that Demeter is very, very good. Um, but I think that things might, of course, I'm saying this, I am fully aware that this, the stream title right now is like, we're going to take down Hades. I'm fully aware that I might get crushed by my hubris because this, this is the Greeks. That is what you must do. If you're a hero, you get crushed by your hubris if it's a tragedy. Um, but, uh, but it seems like maybe this game's going to be easier for me now that I'm playing it with the right amount of health and the right amount of boons. Um, we'll see. Maybe if my brain really is processing things better, maybe 
we'll try to use cast. But I can't reliably, oh, there's one more thing I want to talk about before we dive in. Look, you can actually see like him breathing, like they like animated his like breaths. That's really good. Um, so, um, people are like, oh, you're, you're better at controls than you think you are. But actually it turns out that it's not that. I still get attack and special confused. Sometimes I'll just mash the special button all the time and forget that that's not the attack button and vice versa. But, but what I'm good at is running away. I'm really good at dashing. And it turns out that if you run away well enough, it's okay if you're not great at attacking the right way that you might intend. So that is the useful coolness of uh, my skill. <laughs> I'm really good at running away. Um, yeah, so the last little thing is that we got to see Hades being an abusive dad and Zagreus getting fired from a job that my read, and obviously I'm biased because I'm currently in like a really key point of my own ADHD journey, which you have all heard about because it's irrelevant to me playing video games. Um, uh, like, I really related to Zagreus's struggles. He's not being, exp it's not being explained to him how to do it in the way that he needs to be, ex have it explained. And then he's getting punished for not being able to do the thing that wasn't properly taught to him in the first place. And he's trying and he's struggling to focus and struggling to get it done. Um, like, I don't know. I relate to this boy and his dad is awful and yeah. I think that's that's about where we that's about where right where we left off right and then we have some suspicions. Um, Nyx is up to something. I'm choosing to trust her, which means um, Thanatos is involved with whatever she's up to. We have confirmation of Hermes is up to something, and he might be a god of more than we think he is. I'm gonna try to take the acorn off. Maybe I'm not Moment sure. To go. I think I'm ready. It's not that much farther. No, we we've got it. We've got it. We've got it. We've got it. Look at the farthest chamber reached, 52. That feels significant. Oh man, look how much health I have. It's ridiculous. Oh boy, I'm really bad at this one. Excuse me. I think I need my bow. No, not the bow. Can't hit me repeatedly from there. Oh my God, Skelly. I love you, Skelly. Okay, this is the one I'm supposed to have because it's, oh God, I'm really bad with this one. So this might not be the run because I'm not good at the at the the fist. Trib dinosaur, thank you for the sub. I appreciate your support. I appreciate you being here. So sorry, I'm just I'm trying to go over this again. I was very excited that I was correct in this. These are those two butts that nobody cares about. Nobody likes them. Um, this is obviously going to be, I can't get his name right. Is it Patrick, Patroclus? Patroc, Pat Pat Patroclus? It's not whatever I thought it was, so I'm second guessing myself. Anyway, that's him. It's Achilles' boyfriend goes here. It's the pronunciation that I'm wondering about. Um, and then who knows who this is? And also who knows who this is? These are the only two that are question marks, and I'm really excited about them. Like, wait, 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 wait. No, never mind. I'm, I'm. Oh no, I'm a dum dum. I'm a dum dum. I'm sorry. This is butt number three. <laughs> I'm the only person in the world who doesn't like her. <laughs> I haven't given her any friendship juice yet, have I? I don't think I did. I'm pretty sure you can give her friendship juice and I haven't. So yeah, that's easy enough. Okay. So, okay. Don't confirm or deny, but that's Meg. <laughs> that's Meg. Why is Meg between Hypnos and Orpheus? I don't know. But she's, that's Meg. That's Patroclus. Patroclus, I don't know. Um, this is those two butts. This is mystery. Who is the mystery friend? Persephone is my guess. So, yeah. 
All right. <laughs> Poor Meg. I was even like, like, it's not going to be one of Meg's sisters. <laughs> forgot about Meg. Oh well. Oh well. Anyway. Yes, go ahead. Have fun in spoiler chat. I really don't like her. <laughs> I think she's awful to Zagreus. And I really like Zagreus. And granted, there's only a couple of characters who aren't, like, nice to Zagreus, or at least pretending to be nice to Zagreus. Um, I, like, I, like I've said before, I love the way Thanatos talks to Zagreus. Thanatos has objections with Zagreus, but his objections are like the person who loves you and sees right through your BS. Um, whereas like Meg is like blaming him for being abused and for not putting up with more of it. And, and she like, you guys, I get the impression that she's hurt him a lot and he's not into that and just... I don't know. She just doesn't... I don't understand why anyone likes her. And everybody loves her, and I don't get it. I don't get it. I really don't get it. But I also... As was pointed out to me, I think on YouTube, in a comment, I complain about Meg not being friendly, and then I haven't given her friendship juice. So it's possible that I could give her friendship juice, and she'd be like, okay, look, I'm under a lot of stress right now, but I shouldn't take it out on you. And I'll be like... All right, Meg, we can talk. Um, and something's definitely going on, and Nyx is close to her, and Nyx and Thanatos and Meg, and just, there's stuff happening, and I'm pretty sure Hermes is involved with it. Although, actually, I don't know, because I think Hermes is doing, I think, I think Hermes might be on cha Chaos's side, whatever side that may be. I don't know. Anyway, that's that. Meg really sounds like Meg from the Hercules movie, which is a good voice. Like, it's an interesting decision. I don't like her. <laughs> Everybody else does. I don't understand, folks. Maybe if I give her friendship... Okay, houseless. I will give her friendship juice, and we will see if my opinion of her changes at all. But in the meantime, I should probably do something that... The acorn is really good. Like, I don't know if the acorn is just, like, a really good fit for Lauren or what. I never did max that one out. Distant memory from Orpheus. Thanks, Orpheus. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out. Um, no, I don't really care about money. I, I just I don't care about a lot of this stuff, but I want to be their friend. I want Thanatos to be my friend. Let's do this. Okay, let's do that. All set. No, we're gonna we're gonna do Thanatos. I watch watch this be, watch this be the one where I encounter Eurydice. And this is the one that I don't have, the uh, the acorn on because I don't think I had the acorn on when I saw her last. I think I've only been using it since. Although I wonder if you don't see the friends if you have the friends thing on. I don't know. Figure you it out. Piece of this or what? Come on, Skelly. Okay. Oh, I've got an uppercut. Well, yeah. Oh my god. They look like mitts, like little like my roommate refers to my to my cat's paws as murder mitts. Combo. There we go. That was a combo. All right. Let's see how this goes. I don't. Right, I'm back. So I have a long-standing history of being bad with punching weapons, like in in a. Wait, what is that in the corner? Oh, that must be the thing related to my butterfly. No, that means I get extra darkness. That's the extra darkness thing. You notice I'm noticing things on the screen. Anyway, when I um, <clears throat> when I uh, play Secret of Mana, the the fists are the ones I'm worst with. So. Yeah, but this. Give me strength. This is gonna be the this is gonna be a bad one, Dismaya. I'm pretty sure of it. Hello, Uncle. Sup. Why, if my eyes do not deceive me through those murky depths, you brandish Malphon. 
Let me tell you, little Hades. Those old gloves have done some dirty work before your time. Have they now? That's interesting, Poseidon. The Earth Shaker. All right. <clears throat> Dash is really good. I just really like having dash damage. Oh, this is so much extra damage though. Yeah, that's gonna be a really, really good finishing blow. Power of Thanatos. Oh! Oh, I see, I don't know if you could see like the look of like fear on my face when like the bell tolled. I'm very glad Zagreus was there to tell me what was going on with the gameplay because I didn't know. All right. Oh, this is going to be bad against these guys. My favorite weapon is any weapon that's good against the witches. Oh. Or you can just punch them until they're toast. Oh, no, no. Those things make me think of wall masters. Have I ever mentioned that I hate wall masters? Right. Cause I do, a lot. Poseidon does definitely want to be the cool uncle. Well, I mean, like his competition. Hi there. Oh my god! I love you! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, get out of there, Zagreus, honey. Taking more damage than I would like, which is to say any damage. I won't miss a couple coins. Oh, 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 what did I get? Hold on. You're compelled by evil thoughts. Hold on. Sorry, there's a there's a thing. There's a fist. The the the, the there we go. No? No, but I thought it was the um I don't know. Hold on. Oh, that just means there's more stuff. Okay, well, whatever. We're good. Oh, was it fists? Maybe it was the fists. Was it the fists? Twin fists. Bombs with their engulfing them with primal strength and alacrity. Oh, man. Yeah, see, Demeter, her hand's accustomed to tilling the land. She's not always terrifying. But she is the bravest of them then if all of the rest of the olympians were like i don't know <clears throat> losing control of myself and being possessed by by gloves sounds scary and she's like whatever stand back let grandma handle this it's good stuff um i think i was trying to say something i think i was i think i was making fun of oh what you have more health than i want you to have um. Oh, wow. Oh, I wonder if I can knock them into the wall. Yes, I can. Oh, my God. No, get out. Oh, my God. Uh, I would think I was making fun of um, Zeus, which I feel is entirely justified. Like, if Zeus is your, your alternative, like, I think it's pretty safe to say that, um, um, Poseidon has an edge at being the cool uncle. All right. Oh my God, you're Santa Toast? Oh my God, Ashley. That is both illegal and excellent. I feel like that's what I should say when I'm fighting things and... Oh geez, no, don't hit me. I don't want you to hit me. Please don't do that. Okay, this is gonna take some getting used to. to eat. Jeez, that's a lot of damage. Powered up. Okay. Oh, hold on. Did I just hear? Did my ears just hear the sound of yes? Sure. Why not? Hold on. We're gonna maybe buy something What's first. How much money do I have? Uh, I don't really want to die. So I might. Oh, these are both really okay. Mm -hmm. Yummy, yummy. All right, we're gonna do it. Let me have it. Oh boy. So I might be a little slower than usual at reading chat today. 
Oh, there's going to be three options, Chaos. Hello, Chaos. I kind of want to give you some more friendship juice, but I need to save some for Meg because I promised I would. What did you do, Hades? What did you do? <sighs> if Persephone is Demeter's daughter, then Zagreus is an Olympian on both sides of his family. So, like... Hold on, folks. I think we might have a spammer in chat. Um, if there's a mod handy to keep an eye on that. Um, I just... You are dissimilar from them. Like, okay, um, so the way this, the way this sounds, um, it sounds to me like, okay, thank you, folks. Um, it sounds to me like Chaos chose to step back from the Olympians after they sealed the Titans, though Chaos did not approve of that action. Um... But I'm different. Well, so, Adam, we have not had absolute confirmation about everything about his heritage. Um, so you may have information I don't have yet. So, so do be careful with that. Um, but as far as I know, based on my understanding of Greek mythology, he should be coming from, uh, like, he should be an Olympian on both sides. Um, but it may be that he has been raised. Yes, no, that is that is true, Josmea. I just I have to I have to overanalyze everything. Even if all chaos is saying is they're a bunch of jerks, but you're not. Um, <laughs> God, it would be. I can't even imagine someone cosplaying uh, chaos, but I would be very impressed and excited. Um, like I and everybody else would just be losing my mind over anyone cosplaying anyone from this game. Um, yeah, so, I mean, they may just mean that he's, like, a good boy, and a significant number of the Olympians are not. Who is, who is, who is, like, a good boy or girl among the Olympians? Artemis? I would say that Dionysus is. I would say that Dionysus is, but I don't know if Chaos would agree with that. I love Hermes, but he's not. <laughs> He is most assuredly up to something, which is part of why I love him. Um, yeah, Hephaestus is always good. Um, Hestia is good. I would not call Hermes a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> Athena, I also wouldn't call Athena a good girl. She's like the thing with the thing with Artemis is that she's like really like you know direct and good. And Dionysus is also direct and good. Um, but I'm not saying, okay, so I'm not saying like good aligned versus bad aligned. I'm talking about like like the way Zagreus is a good boy. Zagreus is a good boy. Um, and uh, and Hermes is not a good boy. <laughs> he's, he's like your friend, he's on your side. Um, I love him very, very much. I'm so excited that they're doing really interesting things with him because I think he kind of gets overshadowed in the pantheon because people are like Apollo and I'm like whatever that guy sucks sorry Apollo you just hurt your sister and I like her best <laughs> um but uh but that Hermes isn't malicious but he's not a good boy and I'm talking about good boys I'm talking about I'm talking about you're sweet and I can trust you <laughs> I can trust Dionysus Dionysus is a sweet pal um, okay. Odysseus is my favorite character from Greek myth. He is decidedly not a good boy. <laughs> I love Odysseus so much. He's fantastic. Yeah. No, but anyway, so, so all that to say, I think Chaos might be up to something with Hermes. Chaos is probably like, I mean, I could trust Artemis because she's a straight shooter. <laughs> eh? 
eh, uh, anyone who's not um, a first uh, first language speaker of English, that's an idiom. <laughs> like a straight shooter means that they, 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 they speak the truth and they tell it like it is. But also you see she, she shoots with a bow and arrow. It's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh man no before we have a scale I would pull out my 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 like graph quadrant graph thing of ro charming ropes with a heart of gold because they all belong on it but in different quadrants yes Kerberos is a good boy the goodest of boys Zagreus is also the goodest of boys, though. He's, like, almost as wholesome and pure as his doggy. And they're so adorable together. Um, so this is a really long-winded thing to be, like, either chaos is, like, something about you is different, which I would believe, because, like, I have decided that something is questionable about the creation of Zagreus, and he's not... Not... not he, I hesitate, hesitate to say normal. But he is, he is exceptional in some way that I think defies what is supposed to exist in the world. Um, or it might just be that he's a sweetheart. Either way, Chaos likes and trusts him. And that's adorable. Like, Chaos is like great-great-grandparent. Like, I don't know if we have, um, I don't know if we have a gender-neutral grandparent, like, term of endearment. Um, but if we did... That would be chaos. I would have, I would say Zagreus would refer to them with that term and they would be like, yes, you are my great, great grandchild. I mean, you don't have enough greats there for the amount of distance between us, but I think that you are sweet for wanting to call me that. Um, yes, Sisyphus does kind of come across as a good boy in here. I guess, no, I guess he's not a good boy, <laughs> but he is very kind. I like him. I would like, I, I feel like Sisyphus would give good hugs, you know? Like, he seems like that. Like, he seems like the one who gives good hugs, which is a valuable trait in a friend. Um, but yeah, so I, I really like Chaos's affection for Zagreus. Because it feels like affection in as much as a cosmic, unknowable, all-powerful being can have affection. That's true, he does always have snacks. Snack in. Oh man. Fortunately, I don't care about cast, so that's not gonna be the one I choose. Okay, so we've already picked that one, so that one's disqualified. Oh, um, you know what? Whatever. Whatever. It's not even a thing. Like, give me a challenge is actually a challenge. Look at how, like, warped everything. Like, it's not just warped. If you look, like, it almost looks like my screen is dirty. Like, I thought I might have to, like, dust off my screen, but then I moved and it changed. There's, like, haziness to it. Like, not only is there, like, the strange otherworldliness of the, like, stars and the void and the sea, there's also, like, this weird swirling swirling haze. Yeah, I've got the health to do this, and I'm very excited about this. And just think of how much damage my uh, special is going to do. It's going to be ridiculous. Oh! Alright, where are they coming? There they are. Ah! I'm, oh, wow, I can hit far. There you go, okay. Did you see that? Was that not awesome? So I don't have an AOE thing here. Okay, how's this? If the game gives me an AOE cast thing, somehow I might take it. night, Brian, even though you probably won't hear this because your internet is not 
Alright, upgrade. Secrets of the twin fists. Ooh. Oh man. Hmm. Yes, chaos playing hide and seek with um with Zagreus is just I'm sorry, but I want somebody to draw a picture of like super deformed, like chibi chaos playing hide and seek with Zagreus. I think that would be adorable. Alright. Wow. That's so much damage to armored things. Wow, I like that. Okay. Base damage or can Okay, so this is this is combo attack. This is area of effect thing, yes. Man. That's just that's just so much damage. That's just like your armor is just like it evaporates. Let me I'm actually thinking about gameplay. Who are you and what have you done with Lauren? I don't think that I, I don't think that if I do it right, I don't think that this will be let's not do this. This will be really good for hard fights. Elite foes cannot be stunned or knocked. Yeah. Sure. Why not? Cracking. <laughs> cracking. Knuckles. Cracking your knuckles because uh-huh. Alright, let's put that let's put that to good use, shall we? Oops, I'm taking more damage than I would like. Which is to say, any damage at all. Alright. Yeah, that was the intent. No way, Zag. Looking like you got yourself a gift from Poseidon there. He's quite the catch, but yeah. <gasps> Oh okay, so like a catch, like you talk about like the catch of the day is fish. Thanks, Dionysus. <laughs> He's just like so good natured. He's like, oh man, Poseidon is awesome, but let me give you a present too. Thank you, friend. The god of wine and madness has a certain sense of humor toward humankind. That's true. Okay, this one is a faded choice. I, this is not the boon that I would want. But, uh, it's a faded choice, and I do want to get those. But this is really good. Right? This is epic. <sighs> Whatever. Feeling good. I'm failing at, uh, getting the ultimate lore, Lauren. Unfortunately, Hangover... So it turns out that bosses can't be hung over. Okay, sorry, but I do have a flurry. That will actually help against the witches' things. I'm probably gonna wind up defying the fates. Either I'm helping the fates fi fix things because dad defied the fates. Okay, let's try not to die already. Um, Lauren? Where's the bad guys? Oh, jeez. No! Oh my god, I'm so, so mad about that. A curse of chaos has expired. I'm so mad about that. Titans recoils from offense, relentless attacks, overwhelmed by its fury, unable to defend against it as one might a spear or blade. Hyperion. His undying body pulverized to such an extent that even his legacy was destroyed. I do not know what that is referencing. I don't think I know Hyperion other than the name. Oh, I'm so mad. I lost the Death Defiance already. <sighs> Unacceptable. I'll just have to save my money. No. <laughs> that seems like a that seems like a viable 
a viable solution, doesn't it? Just uppercut everything. Just gonna uppercut everything. Just wait and see. That's very satisfying. I can't believe I died already. I want to get my health back. Oh, was Hyperion the uh, the driver of the Sun Chariot before Apollo? Bye, the Mockman. Well, thank you for coming by. Thank you for joining us. All right. Uh, mm, 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 no. Nah. I'm being cocky and unreasonable here. All right, let's go do this. I'm getting my Thanatos up. Okay. Right. All right. Well, that could have gone better, but it could have gone worse. Uh, you know, I have only one friendship juice. I actually have things to do with darkness, though. Interesting blues. Okay. Well, I like that. That's interesting. Yeah, so one thing that people get wrong is um, they think that Apollo is the sun. And I'm like, no, no, he is most assuredly not. He's god of the sun, but he's not the sun. Diana is, Next. Diana is the, the, um, I believe Diana is, is, oh no, no, never mind. No, oh, what's her name, what's her name, what's her name, what's her name? Ah, uh, no, sorry, Diana is, uh, is another name for, um, for Artemis. What is, what is, oh, sorry, I'm trying to think through things and I'm trying not to die. Hold on, where's the bad guys? There's the bad guys, hello. Uh, where's the bad guy? There's the bad guy. No, you damaged me. What just happened? Something made a really, really epic thing. Celine was the moon. Thank you. Thank you. I should know that because Celine fell in love with, um, a, I think it was a, a shepherd boy. Um, and so she asked to have him sleep eternally so that they could be, uh, together. Um, and I think she actually bore children. And Demian. Yes. That sounds familiar. Looks like a good badge. I wonder if my memory is getting better. I feel like I'm better able to access these, like, memories. Like, they're still, like, not, like, super immediate to, uh, to access. Like, they don't just float up to my head immediately, but... Kieran's show. I really want a Death Defiance, but you know what else I want? My favorite goddess! All right. Uh, hello, friend. How you doing, pal? Oh. Seems to have a certain motive of his own. Cannot be fathomed, nor can the boatman's manner be deciphered by one such as me. I choose to think he serves a purpose higher even than the master's own. He's in on it. Whatever it is, he's in on it. Which is great. I like that. All right, let's do it. I'll take it. All right. I've gotten like all of hers, though. I should probably get things that I haven't gotten before. This one's really good.
I like her call. And, and, let's go ahead and do this. Um, actually, does my special need to be any more powerful? Artemis's call. Whatever, I don't have any money, so I might as well just. There we go. All right, we're gonna go do this again. I guess it's gonna be one of the. Oh, good. Hi. Oh, he's still trying. Oh. Oh, Zagreus. Please, I'm not a murderer. You don't have to do this. He's such a sweet boy. I love him. We're not really getting anywhere. Okay, so if I remember correctly... Whoo! Goodness! Oh, she damaged me. Marvelous! What just said marvelous? What just... I don't have any health. Get out of there. Oh my god. Oh jeez. I'm not doing well here. But at least she's drunk. So there's that. She actually seems like she would be a terrifying drunk. She turns into bats. Do they all turn into bats? Hope she won't be back anytime soon. <sighs> Pure darkness. Well, I, I'm just going to be like, you don't have any money, so you can't buy a thing anyway. And I'm going to be like, oh, I shouldn't have bought that random stuff. Got to refill my death defiance. Don't have anything to say, Dad? Dad's got nothing. Let's keep going. Oh, my God. Yeah, none of this gives me any money. That's how it goes. Oh, that's how it goes. To choose. I'm gonna do it. Might help. I know, I know, I know. I should probably do any number of other things, but that's what we're doing. All right. So I have gotten here with the fists before. What's up here. Did something just go ding? What just went ding? We gotta I brood. This. I can do this. I can do this. I love him. I want to give him so many hugs. Like, he's just the Efficient best. Point. <gasps> okay, I don't remember how to do this, but... Okay. I missed. Oh well. I tried. I tried. Okay. I really don't think this is going to be a very good run overall. I like I actually mean it this time. That's what you get. Oh my god, stop hitting me. I'm tired of taking damage. Oh my god. Did I, I just knocked them into the fire. That's amazing. Folks. 
I can knock them into the fire. This is amazing. This is the best thing. This is the best thing. Oh my god. Amazing. 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 That's so exciting. Let's bring you in on something, boss. The reason that Uncle Poseidon got to you before I did is I let him. He's under the impression he's as prize ever. <laughs> That's really cute. Also, I like the like emphasis of like us, the cousins, um, sharing an uncle. Like like when the fact that Hermes calls him Uncle Poseidon to me. Like that's that's how you talk to your 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 cousin or your sibling about your shared uncle. And there's like something like there's a, there's a certain intimacy in that that I think is really subtle and sweet. We're part of the same family. I have a I have definitely you can tell which of the gods I am. Um, I I choose more often. You know what I like? Any sort of regen. Any sort of Which regen. Alright. Palm or heart? Palm or heart? I actually feel pretty good on the palm front, I think. Remember buttons? Buttons. Uh, let's see. So good. Yes. Oh my God. My special is just, just ridiculous. I just need to just uppercut everything. Probably should have gotten faster so that I could uppercut faster. God. I feel like I could use some more health at this point, actually. We're going to do this. We're taking this route. All right. Oh! Oh! I just had your butterfly! The message that you need assistance, Sagrius. I'll send you to the lowest depths. I'll also do that. Ah! Amazing! Get out of there! Get out of there! Don't be on fire! Oh my god. die oh my god i really need to stop being so clumsy against thanatos but whenever thanatos shows up i'm like no i gotta do it Enough. <laughs> well that's slightly embarrassing i did not manage to help zagreus look good in front of his boyfriend I can see if there's any monies or anything. All right. Yes, Zagreus gets flustered and so do I. Okay. I've already given him. I'm going to hold on to it for Meg. You have to hand it to you, Zag. You're easy to track down. The shades of Tartarus are beginning to fear you even more than your lord father. That's interesting. I just want to be everyone's friends. I don't want to have to beat everyone up endlessly. That's not really my my style. Well, they won't fear me once they get to know me. <laughs> I love this guy. He's so cute. I know that I know that Thanatos is about to cut him down. But he's so cute. He's like, I'm not scary. I'm a friend. I'm not so sure about that. Even I'm beginning to fear you. I think. It seems I don't know you as well as I thought. Oh, that hurts. Oh, that hurts. <sighs> mm. 
Man, like, every time Thanatos talks, I feel kind of bad for Zagreus. Even though, like, I'm also sometimes like Zagreus, you, uh... I don't have any money. I don't have any money. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna have to choose between two of my favorites. Well, I... Technically, I ghosted him, Ashley. Zagreus ghosted him first. He ghosted death. It's not a good idea. I'm gonna die. It's gonna go badly. I mean, I think you might enjoy it on Olympus. There's a lot of feasting here, I guess, and the air is cool and crisp, and it's much brighter than it is down there. Sounds like a dream, right? I love her priorities. <laughs> She's like, well, there's like food and it's pretty and like there's nature so it's good <sighs> it's okay I know that I know that Dionysus will get over it I've gotten every single one of hers like I know these like every single time one of these shows up I'm like oh I recognize this which is not something I thought I would achieve in this game so Man, I just really like Artemis, okay? She's just my favorite. Uh, so much critical damage. Artemis is my favorite goddess, so I'm really pleased, and, I, and, and I'm really pleased with the way that they've chosen to, to uh, write her in this, and her design is fantastic. She definitely does not come across as neurotypical, though, which I appreciate. I think that's I think that's neat. Um, it's not necessarily what my interpretation of her was, but it feels very fitting. Why do it to me like that, Zagman? I thought we were close as grapes upon the vine, but I was wrong. Oh, Dionysus, it's okay. Sorry, Dionysus, mate. Get out of there, get out of there. Oh my god. Don't don't panic, Lauren. Yeah, this is not going to be a good run. Should have picked the things that would have given me more lore. Oh, I didn't realize he was doing that to the floor. That's why I was taking damage. Okay, got it. I'm getting hung over. No, stop it. Oh, I won't go back. Uh, I'm afraid we're going to have to, Zagreus. I'm sorry, I'm letting you down. Go, no, don't touch it, don't touch it. when you get close to them? Oh, jeez. Yeah, this is not a good run. But I did... Oh, sorry. I did use cast. So there's that. So level up show. Thank you for following. Yeah, you totally murdered me a lot, though. I had a really hard time with that. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be a run for positive outlook. Uh, <laughs> well, if I'm gonna have lore, if I'm gonna die anyway, I might as well get lore. With my least favorite goddess. That's right. Uh, 
of death is never late. I hear. We're not even gonna get to her. Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Impervious. Oh my god, stop being impervious! Although I do appreciate that they have custom dialogue if you are low enough on health. Uh, it's going to have to be this one. Let's break some hearts. Uh huh. It's going to be bad. It's going to be bad, folks. Oh, <laughs> the game takes pity on me. All right. Cool. All right, I'll take it. I need to remember that I have combo attacks. Thanks, positive outlook. I'm glad to know. I let you know when you're low on health. Get out of there. Oh my god, Lauren. Oops. Oh, okay. Where are they? There's bad guys. Somewhere. You. Where did you go? There you are. Get back out there. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No. Not you. Not you. Not you. No. No. Not you. I don't like you. Go away. Stop. Oh jeez, oh jeez, where are you? There you are. Nope, 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 nope. Will not do, will not do. Where are you? No! Oh darn it, I just took so many damages. Get out of there, get out of there. Oh my god. Get out of there! We're not doing so hot here, folks. We're not doing so hot. We're gonna definitely take the health. Definitely gonna take the health. Is there anything else I'm missing here? I wanna say there was a thing. I thought I saw a thing. Maybe I didn't. It's such a big, big map. That's why I came in. What did I think I saw? That's what I thought I saw. I did see a thing. Uh, I don't have enough money, so we're just gonna do that. Oh, there's my blob. Well, they'll give me my blob, or they won't give me my blob. Either way, I'm gonna do this. Oh, that's nice of them. Oh, jeez, that's why. Uh. Alright, well... Been nice knowing you folks. This is not gonna go well. This is not gonna go well. This is gonna go extremely poorly. 
Are you awake yet? Oh, this is gonna be not, this is not it. It's because I was so clumsy around Thanatos. Oh, I think I want to kill that. Slam. Oh, geez. No, stop. Thank you, positive outlook. Come on. Oh, geez. Where, why is it? Why is he not dead? Why is he not taking damage? Oh, because he's got a dumb friend. You got a dumb friend? No, stop it. Jeez, this is not, not gonna be it. We're gonna die here. Drop another one. No, he didn't. Okay. do very well. Oh, no. Stupid hard drive. I made I made some bad decisions. That's okay. I held on for a pretty long time with um, with one health, I feel. Hello. Wait, let me guess. Don't tell me you got slaughtered by the bone hydra again. How many times is that? But you will get them next time. I've gotten them before. Just know it. Maybe the time after that. Eventually, no doubt about it. No, Hypnos, I've gotten it. I've done it. Thanks. Eventually, he says. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Oh, 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 oh dear. Hi, Dusa. Let's see. I did the dishes, fed the heads, cleaned the cupboards, cleared the pool. She's always so busy working. Very adorable. So now I know what's behind this door. I've been there, which I wondered. <sighs> so there's Thanatos. Achilles is getting in trouble with Dad. Oh, Orpheus is okay. Orpheus is not there. I was gonna give Meg some friendship juice, but I guess I'm not going to. All right, well let's go talk to everybody. Bye, Ralki. Thanks so much for uh, for dropping by, and I hope you ha have a good have a good night's sleep. Thank you. I appreciate you folks not being too disappointed in me not getting it. <laughs> All right, let's see. Yes, thanks, Dax, and I'm going to try to persevere and keep trying. We'll get there eventually. All right, I really want, I really want this friendship. Be on your way, Zagreus. I have an audience with Lord Hades in a moment. An inquiry into my recent absences. I'm sorry, Thanatos. I didn't ask Are you. you. About that? 
You've never given them a reason not to trust you. Helping you, Zagreus. Recently, I'm not so sure. Whatever you're doing, it had better be worth it. I didn't ask for your help. Although I'm glad to have it. Even though that's totally what got me killed last time. <laughs> oh dear. You asked I train him, Master. Prepare him for life's labors. You ordered it. Now you admonish me. I love you, Achilles. He's so great in this game. I need to connect him with his boyfriend. Be careful of your tone and temper, Shade. You are in my employ. You could be watering the pastures of Elysium again instead. Do you know who's Elysium? Or lesser planes, if I so choose. Hades, don't be a jerk. See, like, Hades could conceivably be upset with Thanatos for not being around when he's supposed to be. But currently he's getting mad at Achilles for having done exactly what he told Achilles to do. Because he is unreasonable and bad. He is a bad dad. What would you have me do? I shall be giving it some thought. Until then, you just watch that hole. And watch yourself as well. Is Hades going to try to turn him against me? Oh, he's transparent. Achilles. I never realized it. Look, look, Achilles is translucent. I, uh, I, uh, I don't like what just happened. Dad, you better not. Oh my god, I'm going to be so mad at you. Don't mess with Access my- to the administrative chamber, huh? What? What? Where? 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 Oh, 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 shoot. Oh, no, I need to get some diamonds. I need to get some diamonds. <laughs> I would love to have my Achilles wall scroll. I think that would be grand. Um, bum, 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 bum. Da, 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 da. Yeah, no, Hades is just awful. I have to get... I want both of these. I have to get some diamonds. Well, actually, hold on. Yeah. Fine job, Thanatos. Oh. Hello, chef. Chef is frazzled. I'm just gonna skip through everything. See if you got anything. I very, very rarely you have a good deal. Oh, for giving gifting to close friends, improving special items or trade. Uh oh. Improving special items or trade. Close friends, huh? Close friends. Huh. So there's a... Okay, we're gonna have to get some friendship juice. Yeah, yeah, I... I, I completely forgot about Meg. I completely forgot about Meg. <laughs> Oops. Sorry, Meg. I guess I should probably start giving... Oh, so it, has, it shows a little bow. Show you that there's a gift they're going to give you. God, Grandma is so cool looking. Okay, so you can know who's going to give you a gift. Yes, so that is totally him. And then there's one more other of note. We've got all the Olympians. We've got all the Chthonic gods. Ch Chthonic? Ch how do you say that? <laughs> like, is it a ch? Is it a h? Like, what is, what is that? That can mean other things. Anyway, we've got all of them. We've got all of them. We are missing an other of note. I think that might be Persephone. Chthonic. Okay. That's what I thought. But I then I started second guessing myself. Anyway, apparently must be someplace else. I'm going to have to make myself more friendly with folks with the friendship juice before I can give them magical special friendship juice. So now that I know that. Hi, doggy. Cerberus is comfortably at rest, observing all. What a good dog. Hades is so incredibly jealous because Who's the best three-headed boy? Everybody loves Zagreus. And Hades is like, you shouldn't have their love and their devotion. Why is everybody choosing you over me? And it's like, because they love Zagreus and they fear Hades. And when it comes down to it, 
That's an important distinction, I think. <sighs> One of these days. The fates have spoken. Uh, so close. Not close at all. Super not close at all. Really close. Pretty close. Also super close. Not very close. Have barely even started. God, that gives you a whole lot of mega ultra friendship juice. Wow. Primordial Banes. Oh, okay. That's going to give me so many keys. Wow. Slowly, eventually, I will get some of these. And these, I guess, are mini bosses or something like that. Yeah, keys would be useful. Okay, I have to do more house contractor jobs and then I'll get a whole bunch of diamonds. Oh, I'm going to have to equip more of these. Man. Well. I guess I should go hire the contractor. I don't have much money, though. But I guess I can go... This game is designed with the expectation that you're going to die a whole lot. Um. I like the sound of this. Work approved, and here's the fee, good contractor. That shall be of no help to you, I'm sure. Oh, shut up, Dad. Nobody cares about you. They would if you weren't such a jerk. Zagreus has tried. He honestly tries. Like, it's a sad thing. Zagreus genuinely tries, despite everything, to make his dad proud. Yeah, so you die and you keep getting better and you get more stuff to be more better. Okay. Oh. Oh. Sure. Good to go. We'll try uh we'll try that at some point. How many times has it been? That's a lot of foes. I've slain so many foes. All right. Hi. Hold on, I gotta lurk. Not lurk. Brood. Hmm. Got nothing to say. All right. So let's try. Oh, oh, we're gonna do the bow. I'm really. I think I'm bad with the bow. Tongas. Caro knocked. Uh, I mean, I guess I could just, like, actually use more of these than I've used. <sighs> he does have a brooding area, and a lot of times he, he broods. Hi, Skelly. Break these bones, pal. What, you just try it? Skelly is not giving me any bit of story. Having so it's, it's such a good, such a good design decision to have a. To have him be here, you know? Like, because you're constantly changing your weapons. Taking out a shot? Shot. No, you're not. Like, it's it's. I'm alive. <laughs> Thanks, no Skelly. Back. Um. Oh. The dead are judged and sent to Asphodel, Elysium, or Tartarus. We keep the process neat and orderly. Everyone gets in. No one gets out. Judged. I'll show you neat and orderly. Lady Artemis. My favorite. Alright. Not everybody on Olympus is a total disappointment, Zagreus. Why, someday maybe you could meet Callisto. She goes hunting with me all the time. But you don't see many wooden nymphs down there. <laughs> Artemis is telling us about her girlfriend. <laughs> okay, what do I know about Callisto? Other than I think that that's a name that they used in, um... 
Cena, I think. Um, so not everyone on Olympus is a total disappointment. It's funny, like, Artemis trying to talk about what was good about Olympus the last time we saw her. Now she's, like, still trying to sell it. Um, Artemis is my favorite. I swore my allegiance to Artemis when I was a child, so I'm rather fond of her. Callisto, I know she's a nymph, but I don't remember anything about her story, so... Oh, but I do see a woodland, woodland nymph down here. Only one, but I do see her. Yeah, it's a very, it's a very um, well-designed game. And it's just having Skelly, having a character whose purpose is to let you practice using your weapons, but have it be so it's not just a training dummy. It is, in fact, a character with personality that's funny, but also some story stuff is really cool. Um, like, it's just, it's very good. Um, we'll do that. Thanks, Thanatos. Every time that happens, I'm like, oh shoot, what just happened? What happens is that I'm wearing a butterfly. Where are you? I'm not going to do well. This is not a weapon that makes a lot of sense to me. I'm getting keys. Just taking a look around. Money or heart? Money or heart? Let's go with heart. Yeah, no, like they found every possible opportunity to give you more, um, more interactions with people, like more dialogue. Like everything that they've done, which is great, like I really feel like Oops. No? Hold on, sorry. Hold on, sorry. Look what I found. I feel like there's something about Supergiant Games' approach to things that, like, everyone likes their well-designed and beautiful games, but I, in particular, appreciate their super sassy main characters, many of whom use lots and lots of words. Like, or just, like, there's just lots of talking in this game, and it's great. Crushed? Crushed? What does that even mean? Okay, hold on. I feel like I'm trying to say something and probably not. Oh, jeez. Oh, I didn't realize that was a trap. Stop. Oh. I'm really sloppy. Did I get, did I get sloppy because I got cocky? I bet I did. I bet I did. I bet I did. I bet this is my doing. Oh, jeez. All right. Granny is here. Understand something of loss now, don't we, Zagreus? Unlike the mortals on the surface, always begging me for plenty, they'll get none. But as for you, I have a plethora to offer. It's not the mortal's fault, I don't think. Demeter, Dem Demeter, I'm sorry, I'll get her name eventually. <sighs> All right. She is very, very angry. She's definitely in angry mom mode. 
They understand loss because you are ensuring that they understand loss. So here she's being ominous talking about loss. So if you don't know that she's Persephone's mother, you're like, what's she talking about? But if you do know, you're like, Persephone is missing and she's missing her daughter. And that's why she's, that's why she's all winter all the time. And that's why she's talking about loss. God, the designs are so good. The cycle of the seasons brings death and renewal on the whims of a mighty goddess. So the, uh, the death card. And tarot. I mean, this one is a faded choice. <laughs> oh no, fuzzy werewolf. I get that joke. Uh, I mean, ideally I won't take damage, but... She definitely likes him. Does she... I wonder... I wonder if she suspects. Because she seems very... Like, she's, she also seems affectionate in her own weird way. I don't really have much for shopping. So let's like get this so that because we have to do stuff with the house contractor. Oh that one that one had a different face. That's a different color than the rest. Oh, yeah. Oh. Nope. <sighs> oh, they're, okay, they damaged me. So that's why they're like that. That's them having taken, taken the chill. Grandma wants them to take a chill pill. Oh, cool. Great. Excellent. Wonderful. <sighs> I mean, I guess I need faded choices. Or whatever. <sighs> um, sorry, what? Over. Hold on, what? And I'm oh, wait, wait, wait. Could I have left? Oh my god, what are you? A new boss? Oh, jeez! Oh, jeez. Oh my god. Back to the shadows. What was that? I didn't I wasn't expecting anything new. But apparently there are mini bosses that I haven't fought yet, so wretched sneak. Ah Thieves and Assassins. Well, that was difficult. So I'll have to figure out what I'm doing eventually. Hold on. The most violent wretches of Tartarus are sealed away even from other condemned souls. They're only visitors, those fool enough to attempt escape. Hmm. Let's do this again sometime. No, let's not. I would really rather not. Why did Sorrow pull old Demeter get all the way to Demeter. you before I did? She stubbornly refuses me when I offer to help. Unlike you, little goblin. <laughs> she snubs Aphrodite. That makes me like her more. So, you know, I was frustrated with Aphrodite's design because I was like, she's so thin. She does like, like she doesn't even have the like little like pooch of the stomach that like real actual humans do. It's because she's sucking her stomach in and posing in a very specific way. Like every, everything about her pose is designed. Like if you, if you posed like that and sucked in your gut and stuff, like you would, your body would look more idealized than its real self. That's hilarious. Like, that's why her stomach is drawn the way it is. Because she is sucking her gut in. I'm going to laugh at you, Aphrodite. 
You're the goddess of love and beauty. Aren't you supposed to be the most beautiful thing so you don't have to do anything unnatural to make yourself more beautiful? Anyway. I'm just going to mock Aphrodite. Because I don't like... Yes, no, she totally does no girl, but but the way that they've drawn like the the, fine, the the center line to her belly button, like it looks like like it like hollows in there, like which indicates that she's breathing in, like or su sucking in her gut. And I think that's funny because it's Aphrodite. I don't like her. Um, but I'm glad to know that Demeter doesn't like her either. Perhaps nobody likes these two. We'll replace gasp. Oh, let's do that. That sounds good. Wait, had I gotten all of them? So one of those was probably a faded choice that I didn't take. Whoops. Oh, well. Oh my god! Oh my god, will you stop that? Stop that! So it would appear that critical hits. Oh nope. I love the thought of um I love the thought of the um the cold weather being specifically um Granny Demeter being like F you in particular for messing with my grandson. Like I just think that's really cute. Alright, let's do it. All right. Well, they're shopping. What's in the world this time? That's not much money. We're gonna do that. I also got some health back for that, so it's all good. All right, a palm. It looks like a palm is in order. I think I'm gonna have a bunch of runs that aren't very good. Oh, jeez! I hate you guys. hate the witches. At least this is good for fighting those guys. Oh, right. Delicious. Um, revenge damage. Because, uh, like, ideally you don't take damage, but I've been taking a lot of damage lately. I think I've been... I think I got cocky. But this is good to know. I just had two very good runs in a row. Um, attack is stronger with 15% chance to deal critical damage. Uh, I do like critical damage. We'll go with that, though. Oh, more palm. Okay. I think I did pretty well against Tisiphone, at least. Look at me remembering her name. Oh, shoot. Aren't you proud of me? Critical is nice. Oop, did I take damage? No, I didn't. If I taken damage, you would have been frozen. Oh, there's more bad guys. Oh, there's a lot more bad guys. Hold on. Nope, 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 nope. Don't like that. Don't like that. Higher critical damage. Critical chance is definitely a good thing. God's grant me strength. All right. Uh, we'll do that. I was just talking about how good critical was. 
God, listen to this grungy bass. All right, friendship juice, friendship juice. Her name is Murder. As a Pokemon. What just blew those up? What just happened? What just, what, what? Um, um, I don't know what just happened. Cheers. Oh, they blew up because of a combo of things that I had. Okay, got it. All right, as much as I love health, you can't ever say no to Dayless. Oh, nice. <sighs> Thank you. The spell could use a little fine tuning. Thanks, Mr. Spaghetti Zone. <laughs> All right. Special fires four shots. Oh my god. Oh, but these ones, okay. These ones are faded choices, so I have to try one of them. Sure. Let's see what happens with that. Stronger. Yummy. Did you see that I tried using cast? I, it didn't go very well for me. I was definitely overwhelmed by trying to use more buttons, but do I have enough to go shopping? I don't really have much to shop about. Yeah, they have a whole bunch of things that are designed to try to, uh, to try to make you, um, use, like, a variety of things. Like, having the, like, the, like, bonus darkness. Like, everything in this game is very well designed. And I guess if they spent a couple of years with this, um, kind of in, in pre-release test playing, whatever that's called, um, early access, and they learned a lot, that could explain why it's, like, such an incredibly well-designed game. Alright, let's see. Hello, Uncle. My nephew, you procured the rod of fishing I detect. Fine handiwork, if I say so myself. Its line is nigh invisible and causes denizens of my domain to flock to it like mortals to temples of mine. Good fortune with that thing. He's so excited about me going fishing. He just seemed genuinely excited about that. Okay, fine. Oh no, this, does this mean that this is going to be like a boss? Because it had a little like, next. okay. Huh, things are weird. Any... Hi. Murder, murder, murder. Like what is she trying to convey here by saying murder? Also, does she have teeny tiny little eyes inside of her eye sockets and her face is kind of skull-like? Something's not right with this girl. Something's not right. right. We're not getting through to one another, are we? I'm sorry that it has to be this way. So a lot could change in the, like the meaning of that second sentence based on the vocal delivery. Like he could not sound like he means it, but he actually genuinely sounds like he is sad that he isn't able to uh, connect with her. That he isn't able to, to like have that, you know, like, like he keeps trying. Like, just, like he keeps trying with Caron. Like he keeps trying all the time. Um, so like she really didn't like that wow she really didn't like that wow i don't like this did she just level up i'm pretty sure she did Where is she? Oh, no. oh, she said something that wasn't... Shoot, face the right way, Zag. Face the right way. Oh, 
jeez, what is- oh. Every time she does that, I'm a little afraid. Oh jeez, that did a lot of damage. Jeez, no! Oh, I was so close. So close. <sighs> no murder. I love him. Like the way that he says that sounds like like one's trying to talk to a small child or somebody who doesn't fully understand the words that you're saying. And that's really cute. <sighs> okay, I guess she must be under the chronic. Here we go. Watch the mission. Least shares the qualities with which, with which mortals can identify. Yes, she's definitely the least human seeming of them all. All right. Well, let's see what happens. Whew. Dad. Here's to a pleasant voyage up in Aspetus. Shut up, Dad. No one cares. Chris doesn't even have anything to say about that. He's like, whatever. All right. Should I change things up? No, we're really close. We'll do that. Thought about it, but no. We haven't had any friend encounters in a while. No. No, we're good. I'm gonna save up until we get a death defiance. Just go on, huh? All right. All these weapons that I haven't fought the um, Hydra with. All right. Change of scenery, at least. That's true. Let's go brood. Just a few rides across the Phlegathon, and up we go. Phlegathon. That sounds like a word, but like, I don't know. Oh, good. I guess if you choose a certain god, they're more likely to give you more of that god. Wait, no. I haven't. Have I chosen enough for yet? This trip. I got confused with my last, my last thing. Oh. Oh, right, I have sniper! I have a sniper rifle. No, stop, stop. Oh my god. Butterfly rank up. What updated? Oh, Aphrodite. She may be the mightiest of all. No. So that's not the one that just I, I just got, I don't think. Who or what did I just get? It's probably fighting bad guys. Or maybe the weapon. I, don't this. I accept this message. Oh man, that's really good. Are any of these No, I've gotten all of them, okay. Sure. I use my special a lot. All right, so we have heart or shopping. Heart or shopping. Um, I could use a death defiance actually, so we might. No, that's not shopping. That's money. Never mind. Who needs money? Not me. Easy does it. Oh jeez, I forgot that you guys are heat seeking. Get out of there, Lauren. Come on, come on, come on. 
Oh, jeez. If you could try not running into the fire. That's exactly what I said not to do, Lauren. Lauren is having some trouble here. Oh my god. Oh god, there's so much fire. Oh, get out of there. That's a relief. Well, I had some trouble. I'm really having a hard time. I'm not playing well tonight, I don't think. All right, what do we got going on here? Friendship. Obviously, friendship is the choice. Yeah, I'm sorry. Why would I ever choose anything but friendship? All right. Yeah, so if you ever wanted to hear me sing this with, without her singing along, um, that might happen. Um, next, a week from Saturday, make sure you tune in to Bonus Stage for a concert. I'm working on getting a friend giving me a backing track for this. So, that'll be happening. And then I was like, maybe I should pick a song from each of the other two Super Giant games that I've played. But I don't know which one I would pick from Transistor. Paper Boats is my favorite song. But, uh, it's not a... It's, it's a duet, so maybe I'll see if I can find a different one. That's... That, at least that's what I'm thinking. Because then I can have a little trio, because I haven't played Pyre. To all the fools who stifled me They've come and gone and passed me by Good riddance to all I get those notes wrong. So I'm trying to learn those notes. So this is actually helpful. No burdens, no further debts to be paid. No, oh, see. <laughs> Okay, sorry, I can't get the ending right. Um, she has a very different vocal type than I do. <laughs> I'm a squeaky little soprano. Um, so it sounds very different, I think, when I sing it. Um, actually, fun thing. Um, so I talk about how part of what's so interesting for me about their take on Eurydice is that I'm used to her being an ingenue instead of, sorry, that's the perfect word to describe what I'm used to, so I just use that word all the time, um, as opposed to being like an older, more confident, you know, grown up woman. Um, when she sings, she sounds like a grown up, mature, worldly, older woman. When I sing the song, <laughs> I sound like a little ingenue, which is funny because I'm sure I'm older than whatever her equivalent age is. Um, but, uh, you know? Anyway, tune in for that, and I guess I'll finish that up and put that on YouTube when I got it done. I don't know. We'll see. She has- well, the thing is that Eurydice's been through a lot in any incarnation of Eurydice. That's kind of her thing. Um, but she's usually like the victim of the, the victim of circumstances, the victim of other people's failings, as opposed to a woman who has reclaimed her own sense of self and her own her own life despite that, which is more what she's what she is here. Say, tell me something there, your Royal <gasps> Majesty. You know a lot of shades. You wouldn't happen to know an Orpheus, would you? Spindly little thing, whiny voice. Heard he's officially serving in your court. Making music. Mm. 
I'm sorry, I'm really excited about this. I have been saying that I really wanted to connect them and I was trying to wear their stuff, but maybe that's not necessary to get this. So that's good to know. Of course I know Orpheus were mates. Wait, why do you ask? <laughs> Zagreus is so cute. He's like, he's my pal, we're pals, we're friends. Your mates, huh? Just as long as you don't count on him for anything. Hasn't even mentioned me, has he? Well, if he ever does, you tell him I am doing great. I'm great. <sighs> I know that tone of voice. We've all known somebody who talks in that tone of voice. I believe you, Eurydice. She is a bitter ex. I mean, she has a reason to be bitter. He did come to save her and then he failed. Sagrius doesn't understand because he doesn't know what we know. I don't know the words. Free to do as I may. All right, which one do I want? I think I've only got three, so we're gonna do this. Coming right up. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Zagreus does not know. Zagreus knows that Orpheus has talked about having a muse, but he hasn't talked about who his muse is. Oh man. This song is all about like I don't need you anyway. Take care. We're going to die and go talk to Orpheus. Don't worry. That's going to happen. Where am I? Out of my way. Granny doesn't appreciate you. Come get shot. Oh my god! Zagreus, stop talking like me, okay? We're both equally bad at trash talking. Oh jeez, I didn't think that was actually gonna reach me, but it did. Oh my god, what just happened? Why are they glowing pink? What is why are they glowing more pink? They're glowing more pink than they were. What is happening? What is going on? Stop that! Stop that! Oh my god! Good sassy boy. I love him. Oh, is that Aphrodite? I don't use Aphrodite because I don't like her, but we're using her now. Oh gosh. Well, we all know what I'm going to choose. She's actually the goddess of beauty, the goddess of love. The god of love is her son. Don't make me keep complaining about Aphrodite, because I will. No! Oh my god. I hate the witch's circle. Stop. 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 Get out of there. Jeez. My God! Oh my God! Fire too! <laughs> oh my God, Zagreus. It's a little like, 
his little like scornful <laughs> when we take them out. Amazing. Uh, Olympus, I accept this message. Amazing. That sounds really good. Oh, but I don't have, I don't think I have enough time between now and the boss. No. Plus I got the special thing from her. No, we're not going to do that. Dash. I don't think I have, well, I don't have a dash damage. I could use some health. Do I want to do more damage? I want to do more damage. Best defense. It's a good offense after all. All right, so there's friendship juice over here. Looks like friendship juice is our only option. Well, friendship juice it is. Yeah. No, not again. I just fought. Okay. Stop blowing me up. I told you I don't want to get blown up and you're all blue. I want to blow you up. Whatever. Probably going to regret not getting health. bad guys had a ridiculously good loadout the times that I was doing well because I'm just completely getting annihilated here I feel and I think this is truer to my 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 skill level get out of there get out of there Whew. definitely feeling like I should have some health maybe I should get health maybe I should choose choose life oh look at this I could go shopping what can I shop for uh, I guess I've got some money. Yeah. Sure, that sounds good. We'll do that. Boop. Health or shopping? We're going to go shopping because we need health. A little tiny bit of money. Took care of those for you, mate. Oh my god. I love you, Sagarius. You are the best. The absolute little best boy. Alright, so I should probably heal. Hold on, have we talked? I haven't talked to Kron. Alright, thank you, friend. Uh yeah, we can use some help. Useful. Yes, the food is necessary. If I get one of these, I can't get a death... I won't be able to buy a death defiance replenishment. But I also need a diamond. So things that... Like, I'm. this is probably not going to be a run that's going to take me to the surface. But I can use this to get a diamond. Hermes. What's up? familiar with my professional associate there with the boats. Souls of the recently departed got to make it over to the underworld somehow. Part of my job. I bring them in. He takes them down. Excellent. But Hermes, why have you not been back to Olympus in a long time? You know? That sounds good. Alright. The goal here right now, the entirety of our goal is to try to get through the diamond with this weapon. 
Or get through to get the diamond with this weapon. Big one, huh? Is this any different than usual? Oh. Oh jeez, stop that. Did I tell you you could do that? Did I tell you that I was okay with that? Because I'm not. Oh. Nobody likes your children. Jeez, get out of there, get out of there. Phew. Okay, that did a lot of damage. Oops, wrong way. It's another one down. Okay. Oh, shoot, hold on. Oh, those turn into his little friends. That's what they that's what they do. I wondered. I wasn't sure. Oh, I forgot that I had ice. I should have been using that all along. Oh jeez, don't stand in his No. Stop that! Oh my god. Oh my god. Shh. Oh, that hurt, damn it. Again, the only goal here is to get the diamond so I can get more lore eventually. Oh my god, you're summoning your children again, aren't you? Oh my god, there's so many of them. Oh jeez, I didn't realize I was in the fire. Oh jeez, oh my god, I'm doing I'm taking so much damage here. Get out of the fire! Oh my god. Hold on. There's so much chaos here. And not in a good way. Jeez, I'm gonna die. We might not get we might not get the diamond here. Focus on him. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. There's too many of his friends. Oh, my God. Yeah. Last trance. God, he sounds really cool when he says that, though. 
come on. Got you. <sighs> I was not, I did not feel confident about that one, but we had a goal. We got that goal. It's brilliant. And we're gonna use it when we die in the very next room. Well, as soon as we get to Elysium. All right. <laughs> Let's see, what do we got? No, not that. Oh, oh. Hmm. A manner of debatable glory. Thanks, Achilles. See, because Achilles had the one tiny weakness. He had a he had a, a magical weak spot. Um, and us, so he was shot in his weak spot. And that is what finally killed him. Because he was previously um otherwise most he's mostly immune to death. Yes. I mean to be fair, Paris kinda sucked. All right. My keepsakes. Each time you clear an encounter without taking damage. Yeah. Maybe that's not the one. Maybe we should. Um. No, we're not there yet, so I got over as well as about. Um, I think the thing is you want to get use this early so you can get as much experience or speed as possible. Um, do we have a chance? Well, we'll see how far we can get. Go with that one. What can we buy? Yeah, that's what I figured. No death defiance here. Okay, I don't have the money for it anyway. I see no sparklies. I want a sparkly. Okay, well, we're gonna keep going. Get me out of here. Wasn't a lucky there. shot. Somebody told him to shoot there. I don't remember who it was. Oh! Did I just hear. <sighs> sure. I got the. I hit my goal with this run, so. See what chaos has to say. All right, grandparent. See, this is very important key plot stuff because Demeter is not just another Olympian. She is Sagaris' grandmother. Amazing. Oh, what? None of these are things that I haven't gotten before? Darn. No, I don't care about that. We'll go with this. Do I want darkness, keys, or monies? Um, honestly, at this point, I think any of them are useful, so... Oh no! Oh right. There's so much chaos in here anyway. That like I, I'm already running away from them. Like so like the fact that they blow up too doesn't like there doesn't like they're already plenty hard. Bad guys. Oh no, it's a butterfly. It's a butterfly. I don't even remember. 
remember why the butterflies are so bad. I just know that they are. Jeez, get out of there. Oh my god. Okay. This might be it. This might be the end. Zagreus thinks that we're, we're doing well. Zagreus, no, honey. I'm sorry. But we're not doing so hot. Oh, jeez. Where's the bad guy? Where is the bad guy? Some... Oh, there you are. That'll do it. Okay. A little Nexus bit of I want friendship. But I suppose Elysium will have to do. Alright. Something's in this. Life and death, one in the sea. Remember, not a word of this to anyone. Let's go. Thanatos, you keep doing this. You wretches never seem to learn, do you? They really don't. Oh my god, what a sassy boy. Don't don't flirt with your boyfriend. Fight the bag. I guess fighting the bad guys is flirting with his boyfriend though. I'm I'm like not even getting a single one here. That's okay. Ah. He's gonna make fun of me for being not good. Like, he doesn't seem very nice. He seems very edgelordy when he's, like, doing this. But he's, like, much... Honestly, like, so he's, like... When he talks to Zagreus, he's, he's, he's shockingly gentle, even though he says things that are very... Like, the things that he says to Zagreus are hard. You still alive? Um... But there is, there is kind of like a gentleness to him, even in how angry he is. You know? Wave maker. Oh, there's some bad, bad guys. Strongbow. <laughs> However slowly that improvement comes at this late stage in their careers. Amazing. Okay, oh, let's get the palm. Not that it's gonna do much. Delicious. Uh... Oh, I forgot that I had something with my cast. I should have probably remembered to use my cast. I forgot that I took a thing with my cast with the intent to throw my cast. <laughs> That's true, Smacky, and it's definitely, and this is, it is, it is important to remember that our codex is filtered through Achilles. This means I don't have to do as much damage myself, which is always good at this stage in the game, especially. Where are you? Where are you? Where'd you, where? Where is he? Oh, I must have just missed part of the room. There he is. I'm blind. Should be clear. Hey, like when he says that, when he says should be clear, like, I wanted to talk to him. But this is the, the way that he talks, like the, the voice that he uses there, like, I don't know. I, uh... I'm trying a new approach here, which is to depend on my, uh, dash to do more damage and slow them down because they're so fast. Oh, I forgot that I did. Apparently I did actually throw my cast. Oh, I forgot that that existed. I actually got hit by that one. Alright. 
Sagrius, don't get too cocky, okay? Sagrius is like, I will get as cocky as I damn well please. Friend. Oof. Last chance. Close call. That's okay. We got we 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 had Eurydice talk about Orpheus, and so that's that, and we got a diamond, so that's that's useful. Okay. That was not. We're not doing so well here. Hades. Oh. I have to get it. It's a faded choice, and I'm also about to die anyway, so. Those are rare. What was that? There was a special ding. Was there a special ding? Oh, man. I mean, I could do some shopping and try to get a Death Defiance. But even that's not going to make a difference. I just, I'm not playing very well with this, so. The Bull of Minos. You have met the champion, the king. Let us see if you are fit to face him once again. He's a total jerk. You mean face both of you together, which doesn't seem particularly fair. Oh, Sagrius. He's so sweetie. Life isn't particularly fair, short one. Nor death. I'd have expected you to know as much. But here, have your fair fight. I like Asterius. I was trying to dash past him. Oof, goodness. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, 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 no. Nope! 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 <laughs> nope! 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 Oh jeez. Get it, okay. You're supposed to get him to you're supposed to get him to run into those things. Oh jeez, oh jeez. Gotta do better, gotta do better, gotta do better, gotta do better. Appreciate his respect there. <sighs> it's interesting that these is one bad bull. And uh and Ast Ast Asterius are friends of sorts. Asterius is very he's very sweet. He deserves better. <sighs> yes, now I like him. Dostmea, that would be interesting because it it really comes across as over the top. Like, like Theseus comes across as, um, like, you know, like superhero parody movies that have the, like, I'm the hero. I think I, I think I said that last time and somebody was talking about Captain Hammer. And I think there's, I think there's some other examples like that. Um, so it makes sense actually, because Theseus does have this really over the top way of acting that would make sense if he's being like a pro wrestler. 
where it's a he's leaning into that as a as a performance. Because Asterius seems pretty cool and they are friends. And that's not to say that cool people can't be friends with awful people because it happens a lot, but Yeah. Well but Theseus okay, so I don't I don't really know pro wrestling. I like have a few pro wrestlers that I know their names, so when people talk about them I get can get all excited, so they'll be like occasionally like where, what's the pro wrestler that I should be excited about right now? People will be like, well, here's this one with this very melodramatic and tragic story who's overcoming everything. And I'm like, yes, good. Um, so I don't know if like a heel, because I thought a heel was just supposed to be unlikable, but Theseus is clearly supposed to be likable, just not to Zagreus. Like he's playing the hero over the top in an obnoxious way. I don't know if that's how heels can be because I don't know wrestling that well, but uh Yes, Kenny Omega was one, but he's gone bad, right? He's become a bad guy. Is Hangman Page the one that like had like a that like looked up to Kenny Omega and then he had like a bunch of a bunch of like he like went through like he had like his group of friends that are now his cheerleaders and they used to be bad guys, but the power of love and friendship makes them good? Okay. You you know the ones that I like, Ashley. <laughs> You're probably one of the people who's recommended them to me whenever I ask on Twitter. Oh, good. New friends. Okay, so a face heel means that, like, they, like, pretend to be a good guy, but they're also really awful and unlikable. Like, like, like the good guy who's actually a total jerk and how he's good. That sounds good. I think that we can say Theseus is that. He, he, that, 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 that fits. I think that fits. And that explains, like, why he seems so ridiculous and so over the top, where I'm just like, dude, like, you're not even responding to what Zagreus is saying. He's not. He's got his script. He's in the ring. He's doing his thing as his character in the ring with the story that they're doing. And Zagreus does not have the script and is just kind of doing his thing. And I feel like Asterius is also just kind of like... I'll just like assist my friend and I'm not I'm not gonna be the one that acts. Um Yeah, that's that's fun. I find it interesting how much of an overlap there is between pro wrestling fans and gaming nerds. Um Yes, Snow Girl, exactly. Um Zagreus is not sticking to the script because he doesn't know, like, the script is supposed to be in Theseus's mind that the demon is here to be fun. And Zagreus is like, hi, I think you're cool. Oh, you're being mean to me. Oh, I want to be friends. Okay, I guess we're not friends. He's such a precious boo. I love him very much. The Minotaur killed you again. That must have been exciting, huh? So, any chance you got that autograph for me before you got destroyed? Sorry, no. Sorry, no. <laughs> I feel like I should just clip all of those. Just like dig through it all and just clip them. And just have a collection of the Lauren Zachary's mind melt. Uh, anyway. <sighs> yeah. If you did that, Ashley, I would be really excited. Oh, look at this! Brooding boyfriend. What? Oh. What are these shades up to now? <laughs> Poison mushroom, one in three chance. That's not a good idea. Oh, uh, I want to give... How much friendship juice do I have? I have enough friendship juice that I could give friendship juice to both of these boys. And Meg. All right. We're going to do this. All right. What, really? Come on, what is this, Zagreus? You think handing this to me makes up for everything you've put us through? <laughs> no, I just feel bad and I don't know what else to do. And, except... So Zagreus is really sweet to everybody, but he, like, doesn't know how to handle Thanatos. Like, he's more likely to be kind of a... I don't even know. He says the wrong things to Thanatos in ways he doesn't to everyone else. It's just something I found out there that I thought you might like, Than. Don't think anything of it. Oh, he's sad. He's sad.
All right, let's talk to him. I saw the faded list of minor prophecies was requisitioned through the house contractor's ideas. Didn't take you for an agent of the fates. Um, well, your mom said so, so... Turns out I'm full of surprises, Thanatos. Though the three fates are your sisters, aren't they? Surprised you didn't requisition the list yourself. Right. Oh my god, we haven't met them yet. I assume we will at some point. Guess it just wasn't meant to be. <laughs> Though, I don't know them at all. Keep only to themselves somewhere. Oh. Sometimes I wonder whether everything really is preordained or whether they're making all this up as they go. Okay, I cannot... I, 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 I can't help but read into this, like, like a feeling of writing and writers. And especially, like, if you're running a game as a GM. If I am running a game for you, no matter how much you think I have planned, I am making up most of it on the spot. I am writing this, like, 130,000 word fanfic. Um, and I'm like, well, I don't really know exactly what's going to happen next, so I'll have to figure out what to do with the pieces I gave myself and write myself out of whatever hole I might have written myself into. <sighs> so, the fates are the writers of fate. So, Thanatos is asking the question that writers always ask each other when you start talking shop. Are you an outliner or a pantser? This is, this is the most... Like every writer friend that I have had, or like even like a like a casual conversation with other writers, if you talk about writing, this question will come up. They may not know the exact terminology if they're not um, tragically online or in nerd communities. Architect or gardener? Yes, that's another one that I've heard. Isn't that George R. R. Martin describes himself as a gardener, which is exactly what I am when he described because I haven't I don't read his books because they're too dark for me but everything that I've heard him say about the way he approaches writing and stuff like I'm like oh that is exactly me um that is so exactly the way that I write um so for me thinking about having a book series out and writing that way and you haven't written all the books just sounds like a nightmare that's one of the things that's challenging about writing the fanfic is that I write each chapter one at a time <laughs> and then I get to the then 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 I'm like oh shoot I can't go back and change that because I had a new idea so I have to work with what I've done uh all right what pieces did I give myself and how do I make this work um anyway writing is great and blue glass I'm really glad you liked that chapter I was really proud of it <laughs> oh man yeah, Noel Girl, definitely my stuff is player driven, but um, a lot of the overarching plot and things that come together, I'll steal their ideas. I will steal their misunderstandings and be like, that's better than what I had planned. We'll go with it. Um, Jando, it's because I post it as I go. So I've already put the chapter and the people who are reading it have already read it. So I can't like, I could retcon, but at that point it would be retconning. <laughs> and I would rather avoid retconning. Um, so yeah see this wretched thing that's part of that's like the hazard of being an architect in that or an outliner a planner there's a pantser it comes from making it up by, like by the seat of your pants <laughs> this is me um yes Gakujin, a lot of my stories do originate in dreams um but then you have to turn them into something functional but the way that i write is very similar to the way that i take apart pieces of stories in games like the way i'm like taking these things and like that's what I do because I, I leave myself things as I'm writing and eventually it all comes together and then you're like oh she planned that all along and I'm like I did not but I used the things that I put on the table to make something so okay well Justin that I I am not I am not retconning I'm forcing myself to work within the constraints of of the of the the medium that I'm working in so um yeah I have revised things like I've gone back in and like re like rewritten paragraphs, taken sentences out, things like that. Um, but I don't change plot points. So that is not what I do. Um, because Jando, the product is not always inferior to the version in your head. It's just different. You can never capture. It's like you can't make a painting look like the sunset, but you can still make a painting of the sunset beautiful and it will have its own worth that is independent of the sunset or how it's recreating the sunset. It will have the, you know, it'll have your brush strokes. It'll have your like evidence of being made by your hands and that adds a different sort of beauty. So 
There you go. Oh, I absolutely will rewrite short stories from scratch or like my novel I'm going to be rewriting from scratch. Um, but th that's part of why um, the fanfic where I'm not retconning things um, is, is an interesting challenge. So, yeah, I think, yeah, I just I really like writing. You might have noticed that storytelling is one of my favorite things. Um, sorry, I know that's a real tangent that really doesn't directly relate to this game, but I do wonder do the people like like when they came up with this story i mean obviously they had to have the story probably the story finished before they made the game but i wonder well actually i don't know because i feel like the story would kind of evolve based on how the game evolves um because a good game has uh has a connection between the gameplay elements and the story elements and so the gameplay elements and restrictions should inform the story the storytelling even the characterization um, so I do wonder kind of what the process is like for the Supergiant Games team, because I think they're very good. And I think that they do a really interesting job of interweaving the story and the gameplay, especially because so much of the storytelling in their games is always, always delivered, not through like linear cutscenes so much as through like discovering and uncovering bits and pieces. It's kind of like the reverse version of um, what I do piecing together story out of the pieces you put on the map. I wonder if they, they like, I guess they have the story and then they figure out how to take it apart into pieces and put that into the, into the map. That's such an interesting, I don't know, because the way that they eke it out is very clever and they have to have some really, really, really intensive spreadsheets to, uh, to make sure that they can keep track of all of the flags so that you see their things in, in a good information like order. Anyway, I'm really curious. I would like to hear, um, I would like to hear their writer talk about his writing process. Not that I'm ever going to write a game, um, but it's still interesting to hear writers talk about writing. I enjoy it anyway. That's why I've read what George R. R. Martin has to say about his writing, even though I don't read his writing. I can hazard a guess. I like that Thanatos actually sounds sad that he doesn't really know his sisters because for all that he tries to be an edgelord, he is, I think, kind and sensitive and loving. So. Oh, that makes sense then, Sirius, Sirius Inc. If, uh, if he also is involved with designing the gameplay, um, like coming up with the, the, the development and the planning of that then it makes sense to have one person because like you would either have two people who basically do a duo thing where like their strengths ideally complement each other and fill in the holes around each other's weaknesses and then they can challenge each other to create something better than either of them could do individually or you can have somebody um who really understands both and and and, and evolves both together like grows them together at the same time so they complement each other which is really cool all right hold on i gotta give this well, for me, I can't accept something like this, lad. You know that. He is so sweet. Yes, you can, Achilles. Come on, Achilles, live a little, uh, such as you're able. <laughs> I won't tell if you won't tell. He's such a just the way that he says, "I won't tell if you won't tell." You can hear the smile in his voice. That is difficult. That is so good. I love, 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 love this game. Love this boy, Achilles. I'm concerned that father's growing angrier with you. He thinks you've taken sides against him and all this. I don't want anything to happen. Zagreus is very concerned about all of the people that he loves and his dad going after them. And Achilles is the most vulnerable of all of them. Um, all of the rest of them have some He's sort right, of... Lad. I have taken sides. But as for you not wanting anything to happen, well, I know what you meant. I don't want you to say such things again. Do you understand? You're doing this because something here needs to happen. Hold back your fear. Oh God, the writing is so good. It's so good. Like this is so good on so many levels. Do you mind if we just spend this visit back to the house of Hades talking about how good the writing is and just talking about writing? Is that okay? Because that's what I want to do. Like this is so good and it helps that the voice acting deliver is delivered 
so well, which it's nice to know that several of the like the developers, the composers, people who are not just hired actors, but people who are like intrinsically connected to the creation of the game and the team. That means that they have a deeper understanding of how the lines should be delivered. And so they can give this extra performance that's not in the written text. So I kind of wonder what this experience would be like for somebody who who was um, deaf and therefore not able to get that extra nuance. Um, but uh, like, so the voice acting is great. And I can sing its praises, but also like this, there is so much being done. Like there's, there's just such like thick subtext here um, that I think a less skilled writer would have a more like direct ham fisted way of saying even like the exact same things. Like we know what Achilles is saying, but even choosing to say, and he like, he never once says, I have chosen your side, which would, wouldn't feel as good. It's the same meaning. We all know that's what he means, but the way he says it is the sort of thing that a person can say that would then like render the person they're talking to speechless. Like there's more power in saying it this way. Um, and, uh, and there's just, I don't know, Achilles is willingly putting himself at risk and he knows Zagreus is a sweet boy and is going to feel that he needs to try to fix everything for everyone because he's definitely that kind of a person. Um, and so like this is establishing like so much like nuance of like Achilles's character and his relationship with Zagreus. Not that it's anything we don't know, but the way that it's written, you feel what you already know. Um, and it also confirms something here needs to happen. Like, it is so clear that things are broken the way that the House of Hades and like the underworld in general and all of this, the way that everything is, is not sustainable. It can't function. Hades broke something. And because that was broken, so many other things like have, have rippled out. It's like a crack in a window that then like spreads and spreads and spreads. And even if the window is still held together, like it's only a matter of time before something pushes it and the whole thing falls apart. Um, and it feels like we are getting close to that. Um, and so Achilles is recognizing in this, in this um, dialogue, both the inevitability and necessity of this, um, but also that um, Zacharias is going to feel guilty about whatever cost has to be paid for this. Now, I'm kind of afraid that Zagreus himself is going to be paying some of the cost. We'll see. Um, but he is, he is like, Achilles is like, I know that you're going to like, I don't know. Like, and he's like, don't, don't be so afraid of the consequences for the rest of us that you don't do this thing that you are doing, which needs to happen clearly for more than just Zagreus's own personal benefit. So, yeah. I fear is for the weak. The first thing that he's about to say, he's about, he's about to argue with Achilles. But Achilles was basically like, don't argue and don't talk like that. And Zagreus is like, I will do my best. Oh, man, I love these characters. <clears throat> Shut up, Dad. I'm going to pet my dog. Pet the dog. Well, first I'm going to talk to the dog. The monster Cerberus sits vigilant atop his bedroll. Yes, I got you that bedroll. What a good puppy. You are the best. You know that, don't you, boy? Yeah, like, Zagreus, just like Persephone, wins over the hearts of everyone who meets him, just about. With his, with you know, his goodness and his, his, uh, his charm, his, his compassion, his interest in other people, his, 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 his fascination and curiosity, his fascination with and curiosity in um, everything around him. He wants to explore and experience life. He wants to know people. He wants to help people. And it just comes as naturally to him as breathing. And that's kind of always the impression I've gotten for Persephone. Um, and I can so see Hades being jealous, jealous of that, because obviously he's like the exact opposite of that, um, which like one of the appeals of Hades and Persephone as a romantic relationship that people write about is that they are supposed to be so dissimilar, like opposites attract and all that or, or don't attract. Um, but so he would be like kind of jealous and insecure in a way that that he here he is the leader and he cannot inspire love in his people. They're afraid of him. Um, and he can't change that. 
Um, and here's his son able to do that. But also, like, you know, Persephone left him. And here is Zagreus taking after his mother, like, adding insult to injury. Like, especially if Hades did break fate to create a son, he's like, I did all this to make a kid who could be my kid and stay here with me. And he turned out like her. He won't listen to me. He doesn't he doesn't think like I do. He doesn't feel like I do. He doesn't act like I do. People people like him better than they like me. It's good. It's good. It's good and it feels very real and very human, which is what's I think so good about the Greek pantheon in particular. Of all of the of all of the like ancient pantheons that I can think of, I think the Greeks are the most human. Like the Norse gods have like have some relatability to humanity um but they are uh they have more otherness than most of the greek pantheon so that's my feelings anyway you know father i must say ransacking your domain beats having to toil endlessly in the administrative chamber far less painful really <laughs> i would rather go through hell fighting monsters than file paperwork it's nice, like, clearly there are certain conversations that can only happen after you've seen bits of overarching story. Tom, is that your way of asking me for your own job back, boy? You were a scourge upon every administrative duty to which you were assigned. <sighs> yes, I mean, Zagreus is definitely provoking him, but, uh, that's clear and it's understandable why. <laughs> Yes, please, father. Give me back my old, wretched job, won't you? <laughs> Sarcasm. Privileges are earned and not begged for, boy. Does... Unless you plan to reimburse this house for all the income that we lost because of you, then you shall not so much as set foot in the administrative chamber again. So when you're writing on the internet and you wish to indicate sarcasm in text, you put backslash... I feel as though Hades could benefit from such a signal, even in spoken conversation. Because he is responding as though he genuinely thinks that Zagreus, oh, forward slash, sorry. Uh, he seems as though he genuinely thinks that Zagreus is asking for his job back instead of making fun of the job. Uh. How much is the reimbursement fee anyway? <laughs> Whichever exorbitant amount the house contractor has on record, now leave me be. Oh, I wonder if that's a thing. Oh, man! Oh! Which one do I want? Which one do I want? <laughs> the worst is the worst because this is going to do something that'll be story thing potentially i think eventually and this is story thing well no but i if, that's why i'm trying to get one of the faded things results in diamonds so uh, which one do i want now because this is what we were doing right here we wanted to get the diamonds and then we want to go talk to orpheus Well, I think we'll go with this. Father always said if I wanted privilege access again, I'd have to earn it. He did just say do that. Not touch anything again in the administrative chamber. I probably wasn't supposed to do that. I probably was supposed to get the first one, but I didn't. That's okay. Hold on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go hang out in there. You're going back there. <laughs> Never thought I'd come back here again. <gasps> is this lore? Is there lore? Is there lore here? Oh my god, is there lore? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, is there lore? Is there lore? Is this lore? I don't know. Is there no escape? Oh! Redacted. Form. Redacted, keepsake, companion, redacted, form, aspect of Achilles, companion, 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 does that mean I'm going to be able to get my friends to come with me? Am 
I going to be able to bring Orpheus to hang out with Eurydice? I mean, hang out with. There's going to be some words there. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's amazing. <laughs> Which one are you? Oh, my God. Amazing. Oh, my God. Oh, this one. <laughs> that's cute. Oh, my God. Okay, that's exciting. That's exciting. That's exciting. Oh, 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 my God. Is there a water cooler full of tomato juice? It's a joke if you watch my, my Sweet Code in two streams. The cool, purified waters oh. of the Styx are available in limitless supply to all servants of the God of the Dead, authorized to work endlessly within the House Administrative Chamber. Uh, Styx isn't forgetf forgetfulness. That's Leith, right? The job's number one perk. No thanks. Just a quick peek. Oh my god. For official use... Should the prince of the underworld accomplish all of note? Oh my god. Amazing. My oh my god. Okay. Incredible. The lucky tooth is definitely my favorite. The acorn definitely makes a difference. Records of my aspects. So it definitely... I probably shouldn't have gotten this because I feel like these are... The administrative chamber's ever-working shades remain utterly dedicated to their thankless toil, all because of an inspiring rendition of how dedicated they ideally should be. So there's this whole thing about sarcasm and verbal irony and the comedy that can be found in the disconnect between what is said and what is meant. Everybody hang in there. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Uh, the ultimate generic terrible office poster is a kitten hanging onto it, holding onto a branch, and it says, Hang in there. Like, surely some of you know what I'm talking about. I feel like this was really prevalent in the 90s and has since become kind of like a cultural thing. Please tell me that you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, good. Okay. That is clearly what this is supposed to be referencing. And I am absolutely, absolutely delighted by the reference to the hang in there kitten poster. Oh, is it in the Simpsons? I didn't like the Simpsons. I watched a lot of the Simpsons as a kid and I did not like them like it, but, um, okay. I didn't see the shades be like, oh no, but that makes a lot of sense. Hi shades, don't worry, I'm not gonna mess up your work. I'm just digging in and I am gonna go bring Orpheus to Eurydice, aren't I? Don't tell me. <laughs> Thanks, hi. Yes, it is something people put in classrooms. Um, school guidance counselors are likely to have it. Um, yeah. I, uh, I had a, I had a tabletop RPG character who had one in her office. Oh, um, hello. I see. Oh, never mind. He's not talking to me. All right. Waste of time denied. Say, Orpheus, you wouldn't happen to know the nymph Eurydice, would you? Tall, woodsy type. I get the impression maybe you know each other. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I said this is what I wanted. I said this is what I wanted. Oh my god, do I have to do an escort mission? What? <gasps> uh, yes. I know you're to see. Well, I once knew her, I should say. Why ever would you ask me such a thing, my friend? I'm so happy. I saw her, mate, in Asphodel. She's doing fine up there, all on her own. The two of you, you used to know each other then. Zagreus not actually a very conniving person, and he is not always... I don't think he has a lot of experience with breakups like this. I don't know. We more than knew each other, Zagreus. Wait, what? We were husband and wife. She was my muse. To think that we are doomed to be apart during our afterlives. Oh, well. 
Were they, were they, were they married? I don't remember, but I will totally believe that I was wrong. I knew that they were in love. I didn't know that they were married, but that actually, that, that fits like, oh my God, Orpheus. Oh my God. The way that he says this, again, the delivery is so good. Oh, okay. She died right after being married. That sounds right, Blues, actually. Yes, that sounds familiar. Thank you. Um, the, the delivery is so good. Like, again, this is, this is simple. Like, they don't, they don't write in lots and lots of, like, floofy, flowery, like, descriptions of feelings. He's not, he's not like... He's not like, like, knew her, of course I knew her, I loved her more than anything, like, which, which, like, could be okay, but saying, we more than knew each other, we were husband and wife, she was my muse. There is something about, um, when you want something to feel the most emotional and the most raw, short, simple sentences with words that cut the way to do it um if you read my if you read my work i try to have short sentences during the parts that are supposed to hurt um i like to weave sentence length very intentionally and paragraph length very intentionally um this is very this is very effective yes mu well i think muse is both literal and figurative here um, but yeah, no, please. Now that you say that, I remember like they, they like got married and then they were frolicking and then she got bit. <laughs> I ramble all the time and I am happiest when I can do lots of rambling, but you have to know when to ramble and when to get to the point. And if you balance the two, they are way more effective than if you ever did just one or just the other. My opinion, anyway. I have very strong, very, very, very strong feelings about writing, and I'm very particular about sentence structure and sentence length and paragraph length and not having two paragraphs of the same length back to back. If you read my writing, take a look. You will see that doesn't happen. I I will add, subtract sentences. I will rearrange paragraphs. I will I will elaborate on things to prevent that from happening. It's a compulsion. I don't, I don't know. But yeah, this is really beautiful. And then the ah well at the end. Orpheus had kind of seemed younger than Eurydice came across. But the way he says that ah well, I'm like, okay, yes, no, you are in the same. Ah well, don't you have a message I could bring Yes, to yes, yes, to yes, yes. Like yes. I do not wish to trouble her again, my friend. Speak not to her of me. Oh my God, Orpheus. I have my memory oh my of her. Orpheus. It is enough. Orpheus. Orpheus. I know you failed her, Orpheus, but you can do better. Oh my god. You can't be serious. Next already. I love you, Zagreus! Zagreus is not gonna do what Orpheus asked. I Zagreus. Zagreus. Are you going to be my little meddler? He's going to be my little meddler. Thanatos, featured servant of the house. Did I miss my chance to give Meg friendship juice? Some death wild boars. Hello, chef. Chef is frazzled. Yeah, but we're going to totally do a Cyrano thing. Like, you better believe that Zagreus... Okay. There is... A chance that Zagreus is going to respect Orpheus' wishes and see this tragic love story and sigh. But come on. He's a meddler. He's going to meddle. We're going to meddle. I am going to work with him and we are going to meddle in everybody's lives constantly. You wait and see. Oh man. Hi Nix. Nix, you're up to something. Okay, I'm gonna give you some friendship juice though. How can I possibly accept such generosity, my child? Surely others whom you know are more deserving of such offerings. 
Zagreus, okay, it's possible that Zagreus will respect that, but I, I am going to go out on a limb here and say that because I feel as though I can predict Zagreus's actions because they overlap with my own thoughts and, and, and what actions I would take if I were actually there. I mean, within reason, obviously, I would probably not because I am Lauren and he is the son of the god of, of, the, of the underworld. You know, obviously no, but you know what I mean. So I'm going to say if I were Zagreus, I would meddle the hell out of everyone's lives. I would just get all up in everyone's business, fixing all of their personal problems, possibly making things worse. But he's the protagonist of a story, so probably not. Um, so, uh, so I'm going to say he's going to be a meddler just through and through. I will be shocked if he isn't. Anyway, Nix, no, you deserve it. I want you to have it. You've always cared for me. I can't ever repay you for that. He's such a good boy. I should probably focus on giving them, but I just want to give it to my friends. Quickly. All right. I sense the growing darkness in you, child. I am so very proud of you. You always have been capable, yet now you seem to radiate with newfound power. I don't like this. I don't. I, uh... Something about this makes me a bit uncomfortable. Usually when people talk about sensing growing darkness, they're like talking about like <sighs> the dark side of the force. So like, that's just like the, 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 the instinctive reaction to that. Um, but also, I mean, I guess that would be on the Hades side. I don't know. I have to, you have to make a choice in games where it's clear that, or, well, in stories where things are clearly happening that you are not privy to and, and what you see is not necessarily what's happening. You have to make a choice of who you're going to trust. I, uh, I, I think I have to commit to trusting Nyx. She hasn't done anything to make me distrust her. In fact, I'm because they are associated with her, I am more likely to trust characters I otherwise wouldn't like. I'm more, I'm more willing to give Meg a chance because, because she's part of whatever Nyx is doing. So, so yes, I just, my, my, my worry is the growing darkness consuming Zagreus so that he's no longer Zagreus because so much of who Zagreus is, as far as I'm concerned, comes from his mother and darkness is not his mother's element. And so I worry about him taking in too much darkness and losing the spring. If that makes sense. So, like, I don't know. I don't know. Or it's possible that he's filling up with darkness um, in a way that doesn't in any way interfere with that. Maybe so, maybe so, it's possible. It is Nyx, it is darkness, but also, I'm nervous. I'm nervous about what's going to happen to Zagreus. I'm nervous because I can't 100% trust them. And I feel like I, I should, but I can't quite. I'm worried about what's going to happen to Zagreus at the end of this. Um, because Supergiant Games doesn't usually give you straight up happy endings. They just don't. I mean, like, have you played Transistor? <laughs> uh, and then there's the choices in Bastion. Um, which I, I almost want to replay that game because I didn't play through it the first time and I think I might like it more myself. I don't know. Anyway, so she's like, you are strong and powerful and amazing. Um, Thanatos is scared of you. Thanatos has always thought about himself, I think, as being much stronger because Zagreus has always been that little slightly lazy, good for nothing guy who was like a, a meddler and a talker, but not a doer not powerful um sure you know he's been training weapons with achilles or whatever but thanatos is the god of death you know couples in which one partner is more often the the like the breadwinner for example um like when that sort of thing switches um it can be very hard 
to to reconcile like oh my partner is you know stronger than me in some way that was never the case before and i think people are perhaps are having to reevaluate their interpretation of zagreus given that he is a pretty tough and buff little guy i'm getting somewhere i guess oh man i really want to get into the garden i wonder if mom will come back and be in the garden if i find her that would be a way to make the game have a cycle and have her be a presence in the game but let's have a look at the old fated list i can't get these last couple of them like i just those don't show up much because i sure have tried oh yeah no it's definitely it feels like those three games like are they're iterating on the same idea trying to achieve like the perfection like the 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 the, the, the like platonic ideal of a super giant game <laughs> and really it's 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 honestly feeling like I, I have a hard time envisioning a game doing better than Hades. Um, it's outrageously good. Like this game is just ridiculously good. I can see why people lost their mind over it. Oh, I, I think I fought a couple more of those now. This, I will get more diamonds when I hire the house contractor to do more stuff. Yeah, that's it. I wonder if, since I've got this nectar stuff, I wonder if I'm supposed to have, like, if they expect me to have gotten uh, gotten all the way up with friendship juice. Let's have a look here. I do want to play Pyre, but the gameplay seems... I did, I did try this. I did. I tried to do something with cast. I did, I did. I've sort of made an effort for cast. Uh, I guess I'll sit on this. All right. I'm gonna leave and come back, um, and then we'll save. Um, so we had two runs. They were not the run that took Cut. us to, uh, not the runs that took us to the surface. Um, but that's okay, because we had plenty of other exciting things, mostly to do with Orpheus and Eurydice, companions, 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 escort mission, hopefully not, companions, though, I'm really excited about that, we, we, we've progressed some side quests, we progressed some plot, we, 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 we got to chat with a yeah, well, I mean, I've been saying Orpheus and Eurydice. That's one of the things, like, one of the biggest things that I wanted, that I wanted to do. So I'm getting that, which is so exciting. And also, however that winds up taking shape will give me some idea of what I can expect from Achilles and good old Pat. So, like, that's exciting because that's the other one I want because Achilles is my favorite. Um, I love Eurydice, Orpheus, I, I, yeah, yeah, but yeah, I love Eurydice, but Achilles is like a favorite. And I really want to know, yeah, well, these weapons, I guess, I guess, I, so people have asked me, like, what weapon do you like best? And I'm like, I don't know, because I feel like I haven't used any of them enough yet to know. But there are definitely some that I have a harder time with. Um, and a lot of it also just depends on, like, what, like, loadout you get. Like, the loadouts change the way the weapons work enough that like it doesn't always feel like it's the same weapon so i don't know um but i think i performed really badly from a gameplay perspective here <laughs> but maybe that's experience that i will take with me for the next runs in the game um i'm recognizing more of the boons um, and getting a sense for which boons i like to play with which is good because once you start unlocking like the once the faded thing is not like a concern anymore then you can start focusing on gameplay instead of lore. Yeah, the the uh, the rocket launcher, the bazooka was a surprisingly effective combination thing for me. Um, I think it also helped the stuff that I had with it. And then the spear was very well suited because I adapted it very well. Like it, it was that was an altered spear in a way that worked. Um, we'll see what happens as it keeps giving me random weapons. Um, 
I, at this point, am not anticipating that I will be like, this is my favorite weapon, and this is the weapon that I will take to the surface. I am anticipating at this point that I am going to continue um, changing out the weapons based on what gives me extra darkness, and I'm anticipating with the keepsakes now that it seems like... I, I was expecting I was expecting the keepsakes to be the thing that you brought back and forth between the characters but if there's going to be um, first of all there's like actually been conversation without me having to have the keepsakes equipped um, which helps to know um, because then I can use whichever keepsake I want to and I will try to use more of those um, and uh, and then I will uh I will... I blanked. What was I saying? Shinji, thanks for following. Um, and uh, and I guess because we now we know that like the story will take place the way it will take place. And companions? Like, companions? I'm sorry. That's like... That, that's a big takeaway. Especially, and like, please don't tell me anything about what it is. Whether I'm right or not. The game showed me that. I think I know what it is. I'm very excited. The Orpheus and Eurydice thing. Like, now I have to find Eurydice again. So, right, Blues? It's everything I've ever wanted. So, because, like, I've said, I said, like, I don't know how they're going to have the interaction between these characters. With the structure of the gameplay and the setup of where people are and how they talk and things like that. I don't know how they're going to do it. I said. Companion. Oh my god. I wonder. I was like, you know, if you use enough friendship juice, can you make it so you can companions them? But you wouldn't be able to do that with the gods, so it would have to be a con like a, a finite list of people you could do that with. Yes, yes, no, like the fact that that's an in potentially an entirely new thing is really interesting. Um, they're really good at holding out on things like, like it takes a while before you get, um, Demeter. Um, and like, it gives, like you, you have to kind of learn the rest of them. They're very intentional about withholding things until like, it's a good time. Um, it's so great. There's so much, but because they give it to you a little at a time, even I, have been able to make sense of it instead of being totally overwhelmed. That is one thing that I think my new medication does is it helps me not be overwhelmed when I take in too much, um, when there's too many things demanding my attention or there's too much stimulus, like too much stimuli. I don't know exactly how to, anyway, that. And I think that the medication is helping my brain process that, which is nice. Um, so yeah, I, uh, I'm excited. I'm excited about this game. It's a good one. It's a good one. And, uh... Blam. He looks so cool. I should... I might write some stuff eventually with the characters in this game. I might draw some pictures. Maybe. <sighs> Thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate you here. I know I've been talking a whole lot. I know that we've gone, we've gone over, um, but I really appreciate your company. Um, if you want to uh, join us on the Discord, um, feel free to do so. That is where the spoiler chat is. I assume sometimes I'll like start talking and like chat just goes silent and I'm like, I bet the spoiler channel's exploding. By the way, if anyone who's watching this on YouTube has made it this far and you want to join, please just say the word or type in the link. Uh, from what you see on the screen, you're welcome to join us too. We're always happy to have YouTube folks join us. Um, but yeah, uh, so just as a refresher of things, uh, I will be streaming Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of next week as usual. We took yesterday off because of the day without Twitch. Um, and then a week from Saturday, I will be playing a show uh, uh, Saturday at 6 p.m. my local time um, on the 11th um, on Bonus Stage Van, Bonus Stage Vancouver. Um, so if you want to hear me sing good riddance and see if I get the words right, that's the place to do it and the time to do it. Thank you all so much. Take care of yourselves and I will see you lovely people later. Bye.